there my friends and welcome along to part two of our quick overview of the design and structure of some of the uh, bridges here on Bolton Trinity Road. This is a follow-up to our previous video which in itself was a follow-up to the popularity of the video that we did about the Orlando Street Bridge. Anyway, without further ado we're going to focus straight back in here on uh, the Lever Street footbridge. Now the real version of this is still there, you can look it up on Google Maps, but how we've done this again we've made it removable. This time it's not so much for access underneath as because it tends to get knocked a lot especially when we're cleaning the track so it just sits down with the gravity. We've used um, some Daypol signal gantry kits for the sides, cut them to length, glued them to just a piece of ordinary uh, thin plastic card that we cut out to the appropriate shape and used some plastruct components there to provide a representation of some of the structure. Painted up, it is quick, it is simple. The um, actual footbridge surface we've done by, we painted it in a dark uh, colour humbral paint and then we sprinkled some uh, Javis Scenic powders on that just to give some texture as it's stuck into the paint. Uh, the bases that we've used, these are plain and simple, the bases as was from the Daypol kit and on the retaining wall we've made um, a, an abutment using a piece of uh, balsa wood covered in super quick brick papers and we've actually cut out some quite nice neat uh, corner coin stones just to, to finish off the scene and this all slots in there, sits there nicely. Now the last and final bridge is actually, it's actually a tunnel but we're going to call it a bridge now. This is Bradshaw Gate and on the real railway this is a cut and cover tunnel built kind of like one very very long bridge. It's actually possible to follow most of its route above because it follows uh, some of the roads above rather than going underneath buildings. But um, here on the model we've used an awful lot of artistic license on account of the fact that it effectively forms the join between one end of the layout and the other so it can't be a very accurate representation of um, the real tunnel. What we've actually used um, on the uh, edges here is we've made our own plate girders to fit out of scraps of plastic iron. This one's been built in a similar manner to how we did the Orlando Street Bridge and if we look over on the other side we can see that this one has been done in a very different technique to make a much deeper steel girder type uh, finish and again just made out of little bits of plastic art cut out and painted. The main structure of the Bradshaw Gate scene here is actually you can see on the edge here we've got uh, an off cut of the baseboard material. Now this is permanently glued and screwed down. The reasons for this were that uh, because we've got the computer here and a lot of the other scenic things such as the, the um, hillside and the tunnel mouth there we couldn't actually have it removable without it causing a lot of potential damage uh, as well as um, having some rather nasty ugly lines in the scenery. We've made the base come out at an angle. We dealt with this in a previous video and we're going to provide a link to it in the, in the base. But you can see here we've used the Metcalf uh, terraced house kit and the, the pub corner kit at an angle to the actual structure of the tunnel just to break up the symmetry um, and we've used brick papers for the pavements the road itself is just paint with the Javis scenic powder stuck into it uh, whilst it was still wet um, and it produces a very very strong scene um, here and now the track underneath there's no points, so I was less worried about access. Uh, you can still get in from either side, and indeed from the computer side I've left it open, so you can get in to retrieve rolling stock that's derailed or um, clean the track, and that hasn't been a problem at all. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. It's been good to have you along, my friends, for the ride. You knew you want to come. This rounds off our two-part little uh, series of videos, just giving a bit more in-depth look at the construction of the bridges here in Bolton Trinity Road layout. Uh, anyway, you take very good care of yourselves for now. Uh, don't forget to share this video uh, and uh, don't forget to tickle that like button. As I always say, if you tickle that like button, then somewhere a burlesque dancer bears her nipples with tassels on. So, you know you want to. And, um, I don't know what else you want to do. I don't know, do whatever the hell you want. Not that. That's dirty. No, no. Dirty. Bad, bad boy. You take care of yourself, my friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.